Hi, it's Renee with Benchmark. I'm outside uh, in January in Calgary, and uh, it's a beautiful day to film a video for you guys. And what I'd like to show you today is how to use the tilt function with microsurveys field genius software and I have a uh, easy survey E600 GNSS receiver RTK receiver I have a fixed solution on my data collector and I'm plumb over the point so what I'd like to show you is by taking a, a shot that's got the bullseye bubble dead on and then I'll take a shot using the tilt function and I'll inverse between the two sets of coordinates and show you the different types of accuracies I'm getting so the first thing I do is take a shot. I've already measured my HI. Um, I'm gonna click standard measurement, take a single shot, store the point. I'm gonna call it point one. That's my first shot. Then I'll remove my bipod and I'll just take, I'll simply take three shots. So I'm on my point. My receiver is tilted for my first shot. I'm going to take standard measurement mode and change it to tilt offset measurement. And then I'm going to hit the RTK fix button to record the first shot. With So there's two methods uh, that you can use for a tilt offset measurement. I'm going to select the second one that has three pole tilt intersection shots. So I'm going to measure the first pole tilt one. I'm going to say continue. I'm going to measure the second one. I'm going to hit continue and I'm going to hit a third. I'm going to hit continue and if you look at the screen you can see that I have three circles. I have a red, a green and a blue circle and my shot is in between all of those and it's dead on so I know it's going to be pretty accurate. So I hit save and I'm going to call this point point number two. So point one and point two are saved. Now all I'm going to do is do a simple inverse. I go under calculation, inverse, and I'm going to inverse between point one and point two. And it shows that I'm seven mils out, which is completely within tolerance and negligible for uh, this type of work considering the RTK is under one cent. So I'm pretty happy with that tilt function routine. I'm pretty happy the way that I can take a shot, uh, three quick shots and not have to be plumbed up. I can take some complicated shots and makes my life a little bit easier, makes surveyor's life a little easier. We can do manhole shots, we can do a bunch of different things. So if you have any more questions, please visit us on our YouTube channel or give us a call, we'd be more than happy to talk to you. Thanks and have a great day. Hope you're surveying on a nice sunny day like it is here.